Hospitalizations are going up across the metro Detroit area. We should point that out as well. Yeah, and for more on that and what's driving that surge, Nick Monticelli is joining us now live outside of Beaumont Hospital in Troy with more. Nick, good morning. Rhonda, good morning to you. One of the key factors, one of the key data points in all of this is hospitalizations. How many people are inside of these? And it's actually very interesting to look at the numbers based per hospital. The question, though, was what's driving all of it? And some people have their theories. Yes, I'm concerned. But in general, we're in a much better place than we were a year ago. While vaccines have been a game changer, hospitalizations in Michigan are surging. Beaumont says they were averaging about 100 COVID patients a month. Now, that number is closer to 600. For us, it's a very significant increase. We are in another surge in Michigan. It is real. We are seeing people in our hospitals. Here are the current numbers across Metro Detroit. Capacity across eight Beaumont hospitals ranges anywhere from 68 to 100 percent. The state saying Beaumont Wayne is at full capacity. Capacity across five Henry Ford hospitals ranges anywhere from 69 to 99 percent. The state saying Henry Ford Macomb is nearing triple digits. Capacity at Detroit receiving is 87 percent and at Children's it's 62 percent. Keep in mind, medical experts say even pre-pandemic, hospitals generally operate at about 90 percent capacity. And now they are even better equipped at treating COVID patients. I'm done. That's it. Yesterday, Governor Whitmer got her COVID-19 vaccination. She says she consults medical experts often as cases rise to alarming levels, but she is not putting into place any new restrictions. This is a race to get vaccinated, and so far the virus is winning. It is a mobility issue that we're confronting. It is fatigue that we're confronting, and it's variants, frankly. It's our chance to be able to have traditional proms and graduations and baby showers and other celebrations of life's life, life's milestones again. It's, it's really our chance to get back to a sense of normalcy. And that right there is why you have seen so many vaccination clinics pop up all over much of Detroit, why the city of Detroit is expanding into neighborhoods. Expect to see a lot more of that in the next coming days and weeks as the push between the virus rising and the vaccination rate trying to push that up as well. We're live here in Troy. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today.